I seem to have three different um, scenarios where the sellers are trying to sell because they're in need of evicting somebody from their house, someone that either a brother or a friend, something, but they can, they obviously have failed at their attempts at evicting them. So they're wanting me to do that. So with a scenario, since we're virtual, do you guys recommend diving into those types of situations? Those, Sam, those are, I probably bought more houses that from a relative of somebody who was in the house and they couldn't kick them out or they wouldn't kick them out. And those are golden. You, those are a highly motivated seller. You can get a good deal because they don't want to go through the pain of eviction or whatever. You're not going to be the guy doing the eviction anyway. You're going to be hiring a local attorney to file eviction paperwork. Um, and you don't have to be there to do it. So I would, uh, you know, move forward on that deal. Okay. Okay. And um, so basically, would, would that be the same attorney that you would use on closing the deal? Or are those typically two different types of attorneys? Typically different. If you're in a small town, it may be the same person. Uh, but typically what you want to do is find the, the local good eviction attorney that all the other investors use. Okay. Uh, there's, there's usually one good one everywhere. And, um, you know, that's the guy that you want to use. Okay. Okay. So, um, so you would recommend if the deal seems good um, to probably dive into that and get an attorney for that. Yes. And with these scenarios, um, it, would it be similar to where the attorney can, you know, give you a, um, you know, contingency or something? Or do you usually have to pay them up front for this types of uh, requests? Typically pay them up front because they do all their work really kind of up front and in the middle of the deal. So okay. you, you may do a split payment. Uh, you okay. know, 1500 for an eviction. They want 750 up front and 750 at the end, something like that. Okay. Okay. So in other words, um, definite, if the numbers look right for the property that we're looking at, then you would recommend to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And just, just make sure you want this deal. Like make sure the numbers are good for you and maybe even push harder on the seller to say, look, I'm, I'm going to take this whole problem off your hands. I want 90 days and no payments because I don't want to be operating with my back against the wall and negative cash flow while I'm solving your problem for you.